G'day humanoid lifeforms, Chewy here, bringing you a video about resilience. Are you made of the tough stuff? Resilience. What do you got in your tank? Yesterday I experienced quite a painful defeat in lawn bowls in the champion of champion pairs and uh all well, credit to the blokes that beat us they just played better and that's all cool <coughs> however it did make me re-evaluate where I'm at with this sport of lawn bowls Whilst I enjoy playing it, I really get frustrated when I don't play well. And yesterday I did not play well enough. So I figured I have three options. The first option is stop playing. Give up, quit. The second option is keep going as I am right now, keep playing, keep getting disappointed with lacklustre performances, or well, the third option is to put in more time and effort practicing to get better. And I still haven't made up my mind which of those three options I'm going to go with. And I'll tell you why. In life, we set ourselves goals which we'd like to achieve. Financial goals, relationship goals, job goals with security and power, position, prestige, social goals with friends, sporting goals like this one that I'm speaking about. Weight goals, goals about the way we look. And we put in effort to achieve some of those goals. Now the things that we put in the most effort to are usually the ones that we have to do, our responsibilities. Making sure I've got enough money coming in to, to support my family. When it comes to something like lawn bowls, it's not something that I have to do. It's something that I enjoy doing. It's something that does help define who I am as a person, as a character. It does allow me to express myself in a way that I only get through competitive sport. So like anything else in life, it's weighing up the pros and cons about how much effort you put into this pursuit. And I'm not sure what I'm willing to do right now with lawn bowls. I'm not sure how much time, energy and effort I'm willing to put in. I've said with other things, for example playing guitar, I'm at a point with playing the musical instrument where I'm quite competent and quite comfortable, quite happy. Therefore I don't practice to improve. I play throughout the week to maintain the level that I'm at. And I think it's the same with lawn bowls this year. The effort I've put in has not at all helped me to be a better, stronger, more resilient player. It's enabled me to sort of stay where I'm at. I think to get better at something you really need to put in the time, energy and effort. In order to get 10% better on guitar, 
I believe I'd need 90% more time dedicated to it. What's the same with practicing lawn bowls? In order to get that little bit better, to get the competitive edge on more of the competition, I think I'd have to spend 90% more time on the green, which would then give me more confidence, I'm sure, to be able to compete with people who have been putting in the time and effort on the green. But there are a lot of variables in a game like lawn bowls, so to set a goal in lawn bowls, it may happen, even with the effort, or it may not happen, depending on many variables, one of them being just luck or the form of the opposition on the day. They may just have a, a day where they're playing really, really well. Which does happen. But with other goals in life, how do you cope when you don't reach that goal? How is your resilience? What's your attitude towards the next step? Do you have a defeatist attitude and give up on things? Do you just plod along and keep doing things the same way that you've been doing them? Expecting different results and different outcomes? Or do you put in some time, energy, effort, maybe even money, some education, some training, to get better at something? To improve something, to change the situation that you may be in. I don't have any answers. The only answer I have is we can only determine our own, you know, outcome, our own future by putting time, energy, and effort into the things that we want to achieve. And at the end of the day, if you're not enjoying that thing, then it makes it very difficult to put in time, energy and effort. For example, if you're stuck in a job that you hate. And the only reason that you're doing that job is for money. It's going to be extremely difficult to put in more time, energy, effort to get better at that if you don't like it. I don't have answers, I'm only questioning myself. I'm not sure where I'm at with my lawn bowl career at this point in time, and I'm calling it a career because it takes that much time, energy and effort to become highly skilled at something. And I'm not sure how much I've got left to give. That's pretty much me. That's all I wanted to talk about. Put it out there to you. Let me know about your your goals. Let me know about some of your successes and some of your failures. Leave a comment below. I'd love to chat. If you have any questions, you can be sure I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I will answer every single question posted on these videos. I only have a very small audience, so... If you do have a question, leave it there. I'll get to it as soon as possible. This is Chewy, signing off. Until next time, be good to each other. One of my goals this week is to pay it forward to someone. Just do a kind deed for someone this week whether it be at work or at home. Pay something forward in the hope that you can make someone's day a little bit brighter. I'll put that challenge out to you. How does it make you feel when you help someone? It's a good feeling. Alright. Peace out everyone. See ya.